Hi darlings and welcome back to my makeup garden. It's Liz. So today we're going to be doing a wear test on the About Face Beauty Skin Performer Foundation. So I picked this up at Ulta Beauty. It was $22 and you get 1.08 fluid ounces for that price. So a good a good amount of product, pretty standard. Um, so the, it is a glass bottle, which is nice. And it does have this doe foot applicator here. So it is a big doe foot. Now I got the shade light medium to neutral because that's usually where my skin goes. So we're gonna try this today. Now the only makeup that I have on my face currently is I do have this e.l.f. color corrector um, in the shade peach, just because I haven't been sleeping well. And I do have a lip oil on my lips. Everything else is just my normal skincare routine. So let's go ahead and apply this. I am gonna to try to do this half with a brush and this half with the doe foot applicator. Now, um, and a beauty sponge. So I do have a lot of uh, redness here right now. So we will see if we can build up this coverage a little bit. This is a medium coverage foundation. So we'll see if we can build this up and cover any of that redness. Um, uh, let's just let's just do it. And I do have a blemish here. Now this does claim. Oh, first off, nice, and I think it's a good color match actually. I did wear this yesterday, so this is my second time wearing this foundation, um, but I didn't film it. And we're just gonna kind of put this all over and let's see what ends up happening. Now I am gonna take my makeup brush. This is a Sephora foundation brush. And let's go ahead and see if we can buff this into the skin here. I'm not going to wear any concealer today, so I am going to take this all the way up underneath the eye, okay? So right away, you can see it says that it's a soft um, focus finish. And I will say when I wore it yesterday that my skin, it looks very skin-like all day long. It was very lightweight. It was very comfortable. And I'm not somebody who likes a heavier foundation. So I was very excited for how it wore. I do think this is a good color match. Um, let me take it down my cheek a little bit. So as you can see, it did not fully cover the redness um, of my zit that is there that popped up because I was lazy a few days ago and didn't take care of my skincare. Let's put a little bit more on that spot and see if we can hide a little bit more. Now I will say I did notice yesterday, um, I get a little bit drier on my nose. I did notice yesterday that I did break, um, it broke up a little bit near my nose. So we will see if that is something that will continue into today. Okay. Now, I don't think that it really covered the redness of that. It's not as noticeable. Um, but just I know that there are you lovelies out there who do suffer from acne. And I want to make sure that I address it for you as well. Okay. So let me go ahead and take my fingers. I'm going to rub it in over here. Normally what I would do is I would take my brush and I would use my brush all over and then I would use my beauty sponge um, to do that. Uh, to actually work it into the skin. That's the normal way I like to apply it. I don't normally do wear tests though, so I wanna make sure that I'm like covering my bases for that. I'm going to apply some more to the cheek here and see if I can cover up some of that redness. I could use a color corrector or something like the Sikafor which is meant to like calm the redness, but I have rosacea and that's just kind of what it, my skin is doing today. That's the reality of what my skin is doing. So, okay. I do notice that you can build it up a little bit. Now, I don't know if this would be considered a full, like a full, um, full coverage. I would say it's medium, like, which is, it's average. Oh, well, we're just going to do that. Um, it is advertised as a medium coverage foundation. So that does seem to track. Um, I do think you could probably shear this out, but I don't think you could shear it out that much. I would be interested to see what this feels like with a uh, cream moisturizer. Um, but I do really like the finish of it. I'm gonna use the brush on my whole neck though, just to, just to make sure that I blend in and see it is a really good shade match for me. The undertone of this is not so strong that it is too peachy or too 
you know, whatever. Now, yesterday I did apply it with a sponge, like a makeup sponge, and I really liked how it, it felt and how it finished, like, on its own. But I, I recognize that the beauty sponge will pick up some of that product. Now, you can see what the texture is like here. That's just the texture of my skin. Um, but I will say, you see that, like, little bit of radiance? It's really nice. I like that a lot, actually. Now, I do like the finish a little bit better with the sponge. So I think for continuity's sake, I'm going to just take the sponge and run it all over my face. Um, I just wanted to see what it was going to do. And I, I really do like this finish. I think it looks really beautiful. It looks very skin-like. I'm not going to put any, uh, found any concealer on or any of that today. I am going to go ahead and put on my cream bronzer and my blush uh, and do the rest of my makeup. And then I will come back. And then I am planning it is just about 1 p.m. now so I'm going to plan to check back in tonight after you know as many hours as I can and we'll see how it looks how it wore I'm not going to set my entire face with powder but I will probably set my under eye um actually you know what I won't set my under eye today and then we'll see how it wears without setting my under eye okay so I will check in with you guys later All right love so it's been about an hour since I applied my foundation and I wanted to check in because the rest of the makeup is done. And I do have a tissue paper here and I just thought it might be interesting to check and see um, if there's any transference. So I am somebody who is always like talking and touching and all of that, my face, you know? Um, so I wanna see if it transfers on a tissue or if that's something that, you know, I can kind of gauge, you know, like transference, I can gauge does that make sense? Anyway, let's see if it's going to transfer. So I think a good place to do this would be like my forehead and chin because there are no other products there. So on my chin, I did just push down. I do not see. I see a little tiny, tiny amount. I don't see any real transfer. Here, let me spread this out so you can see. I don't really see anything. I see just a tiny, tiny amount. So let me check my forehead. Let's check there. And I just flipped the tissue over. You can see it's clean. And let's see if I have any. Now I did not set my foundation with any kind of powder. Um, and I do have other cream products on. I have a cream bronzer and I have a cream blush on that I did not set down. So there is no powder on my face today except for powdered eyeshadows. So, all right, this is looking really good. I'm gonna check in with you guys. Um, in as many hours as I can. And let's see if it's still non-transferable at that point. Let's see if it's broken up and I will give you some initial thoughts. Hi darlings. Okay, so right now we're at the 10 hour mark. It is 11, 17 p.m. So we're well over the 10, well, half an hour over the 10 hour mark total. So I wanted to show you how the foundation held up. So remember I did not set this foundation with any kind of powders. And I did use a liquid blush and a cream blush on my skin today. So it is held up beautifully. Now it is a medium coverage foundation. I do agree with that. And it did not do like the greatest job of hiding redness, but it is a medium foundation and I did not use any color correcting. So um, yeah, my blemish is poking through. Now I had a little bit of transference throughout the course of the day not on any of my clothing. I think it was just like general, like touching and wearing tear, but I didn't set my face either. So I'm actually not displeased with how this is worn. Um, I was a little bit concerned at first that I was gonna have some breakup uh, around my nose um, because I had a little bit of that yesterday, but I did exfoliate yesterday night. So I think that actually really helped with um, having any kind of breakup because I have no breakup whatsoever. So you see how like, how shiny I am. That actually stayed the whole day. Um, now yesterday I set down my under eyes. When I wore it, um, I set it down with the Huda Beauty Easy Bake. And I actually like how it wore better with it yesterday setting it down. So I do think it wore really beautifully though. It still looks really nice. It still look, I don't look super greasy. I'm shiny. I don't feel super greasy either. Um, but I think it just wore really beautifully, honestly. It's very much like that lit from within 
you know, radi I would say it's more radiant, but than that, it's like, I don't know, it's very pretty. I like how this looks. It does look like my skin. It's not heavy. Like you could, I know that I'm wearing makeup, right? I can feel that I'm wearing makeup, but it's not heavy. Um, at first I thought it may have looked a little bit heavy, but it, once it set down, it didn't. Like it looked really almost very natural. Like it's like my skin, but better. But yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm very satisfied with it. Very satisfied with it. For $22, like it's readily accessible. There are 45 shades. It's non-comedogenic, which means it's not going to clog your pores. Um, and it says that it's not acne-genic. But in an asterisk at the bottom, it says, uh, in the small study of 30 people. So that's not a study that I can, like, I will accept. Like, 30 people is not a study. 30 people is a survey, but it's not a study. Um, and it has skincare ingredients. So I'm really curious to see if those skincare ingredients are going to have any impact on my skin over the course of usage. I do really like it. I think it's a good shade match. So I have the shade, um, hold on, let me grab it. I have the shade tw light, medium to neutral. I do feel like it's an accurate shade for me. So that is amazing. This is probably one of the best foundation matches that I think I've ever had. Um, and I'm very excited about that. And I know this foundation is getting a lot of attention online because there are more olive shades. So if you have an olive undertone, it's really nice that uh, you would have that option of finding a shade that would be a better match. If you have oily skin, I don't know that you're going to love this. Um, I have um, like normal combo skin. My skin is very normal. I am prone to oiliness sometimes in my T-zone and I'm prone to like random dry patch, uh, patches. It's very like regular like combo. It's very normal combo skin. Um, but uh, if you're super oily, you may have to take some like Pre, like preemptive steps you may have to choose a mattifying primer or you may have to like set your face down with spray before putting it on do you, oily skin people you'll know what I'm talking about but I do think it wore really beautiful on my skin I'm really happy um with how it wore and I think if you have dry skin you may actually like this even more like if you moisturize your skin and then put this on top you may actually like this even more because it has that radiance so I don't know, I think it's really pretty. I've very much enjoyed wearing it and I'm going to continue to wear it. Like I said, this is only my second day trying it, but I wanted to do a wear test with you guys um, and actually do like check-ins throughout the day because I never do that. So here we are. Uh, now I'm gonna go scrub my corpse and remove this makeup and I love your I love your faces. Thanks for being here. And if you made it this far, leave me whatever favorite your person emoji that you like the most. And I will catch you on the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.